Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. You'll notice that there is a Poe's sister portrait up on the wall there. I think you know what to do from here. And now what you have to do is pay attention to the blocks and now push them together to make yourself a picture of that Poe sister. Have to do this quickly though, because there is a time limit. There's one fake block, as you can see. It is this one right in the center. It's pretty obvious because it's miscolored. <laughs> and I believe the blocks will flip around and reset um, if you don't make it in time, if I'm not mistaken. Because you see, there's multiple sides to these blocks. So I think what will happen is that they will. Uh, move around in their positions so that you'll have to arrange them differently so you can't cheat the room, so to speak, by just, you know, like, uh, uh, what, what, do you want, what am I trying to say here? Trying to push the blocks together in a formation and then leave them there and then reset the timer. That's what I'm trying to say. And, oh yeah, I can't Z-target you. Bunk! There we go. And, whoa! That's another way I guess I can do it, is just to uh, jump slash them if at all possible. And you will make yourself visible now! Aww. I would like to do as much damage to them as I possibly can because of the fact that they take a lot of damage. <laughs> I mean, they have a lot of HP. And that is the third torch. That means I should be able to return to lobby and face off against the fourth one. I think. <laughs> I'm almost positive I should be able to. I don't know about Master Quest too much, so that's why I'm saying I think. I should never say that I know. Uh, uh, nothing in here? Okay, just a hallway. I can live with that. And this leads me back ah, to this place here. This is the place that you can't get to from the ground. You can't... Oh, there it is. There's the fourth pole. But you see this area up here? It's like a balcony back at the lobby. You can't grip onto anything up here with your uh, hookshot. So this is just like only a way back more than anything. All right. Bring it on, sister. Literally. Pay attention to all four of them at the same time. The one that spins is the one that is the real one. See that? Just watch them carefully. Just get in the center. Okay, wait for it. It's this one. You see that? It was the only one that spun out of all four of them. So this boss is ridiculously easy. If you could even call this a boss because of the fact that they don't even attack you until... I mean, unless you take way too long. But if you pay close attention to all four of them at the same time, you'll notice that you won't have any trouble <clears throat> taking care of them, basically. And... Any day now, please. Yep. Oh, oh, wait, that, no, wait, that's impossible. Do they, are they starting to trick me now? Uh, well, whatever. I could have swore I locked on to the one that was spinning, but, oh, whatever. And now the elevator goes up. This is the only time if you stand in the center that you can actually stand on top of the elevator, to my knowledge, so... I thought I would show that off as well, just by being in the center. Because you see, I don't think you can, like... Oh, wait, you can! I didn't know that. I thought you could only do that when you are... Uh, uh, when it goes up for the first time. I guess I was wrong. Is there anything that I missed? I don't think so, honestly. Nope, just the basement room is left. So, let's go down. Especially the last Skulltula is down here. Because I didn't see him anywhere in the other rooms. Or I didn't even hear him. Alright, so what do we have here? There is... Yeah, these walls I know you can push, but I just like to see what's open, like, right away before I do anything. Like, right now, you can grab the wall and turn the entire room! Yeah, those doors that were blocked by gates should now be open. And I, I assume that my goal is to get to that treasure chest over there. Okay, that, now that one's blocked by a wall. Uh, Skulltula here. Wah! Another Skulltula. You guys aren't a problem whatsoever now with that I have the hook shot. Though that would not be ideal in that room that I couldn't go into first person mode. Um, mm, 
Hmm. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm gonna have to move it over one more spot. Yeah! And let's see where this gets me. Bunk! So now the door is blocked there. And there's a gate. Oh, oh, switch. That seems like it could be something that I could use. Oh, that opens that. There's a switch. Hopefully this isn't, isn't timed. Okay, it's not. So I opened the gate on the other side, I assume. So I'm just gonna have to find that hole again. Just by pushing this sucker. That is just so neat. <laughs> You gotta admit, this game was pretty innovative for its time. Okay, treasure chest. Boink! Arrows. Well, I guess I could use them for the upcoming boss. Alright. Um, okay, so the boss room is through that uh, spot there. I uh, just have to push it one more notch, I assume. Unless that gate isn't open now or, or something. Hmm, apparently it's not. Okay, so there's more to this than meets the eye. There's probably something in one of those side rooms. Or something in this room that I haven't seen yet, basically. Okay, so let's turn that back and take a... Not that one. And take a closer look around this room, the last room that I opened here. Just do it one at a time, I guess. Because I definitely feel like that I'm missing something here. Maybe one of the walls is uh, bombable, per se. Perhaps, maybe. Like, I probably didn't visit all four of the rooms. Like, you see there's like four subsections to this room. And only those two uh, sliding gates and doors and whatnot. You get the idea. Uh, okay, so if I were to follow... This path that would lead to there. Okay. Just want to make sure. <laughs> you can never be too sure. Especially when you are uh, playing Master Quest. Okay, now this one's blocked off, right? Right? Yeah, okay. One more notch over. Grab, push. This is taking me a lot longer than expected. <laughs> this room's a lot harder. I should say it's a lot more puzzling than I remember it, that's for sure. Wait, 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 wait. Did I... Am I starting to push it the other way now? I think I am. Whoops. <laughs> At least I think I just did. E. Yeah. I think I just pushed it the wrong way. Alright, I'll just continue along this direction. I'm just going through these one by one anyway. Hmm. All right, so this room right here. This is the room that I thought might have something. <laughs> I should have checked that when I first came through here. And there we go. That's the gate over to the boss's room. Ah ha! And sure enough, it's right across from it. Dang it! Ah! I confused myself. Boss time! Ooh, spooky green tinted room. Hmm, doesn't look to be anything too suspicious, right? Hmm, mm-hmm. I don't see anything, but wait, what is that thing in the painting there? Wait, actually, aren't I supposed to just shoot the thing? I forgot how to trigger the boss, honestly. Am I just supposed to... <laughs> uh, let's just walk around the room in a circle here. I seriously for... Oh, I'm supposed to try and exit. Huh. How did I forget that? It's Ganondorf! Well, not exactly. It's Phantom Ganon. Alright, for the first phase, what you want to do is get onto an edge of the room. Like, 
not in a direct corner like where those Triforce pieces are. Just go right like next to it, like on one of those poles. Now look up, and so you see him coming through the uh, uh, painting like that. Well, what'll happen is that he'll be on the opposite wall painting, basically. Well, usually, and your your objective is to hit him as he's jumping through the air or coming out of the painting. The real one is a little bit lighter in color, but the trick to this, you'll notice that he always shoots a ball of lightning right into the center. Well, he'll never touch you if you're standing right where I'm standing right now in this phase. Okay, now pay attention. The, the real one is always just a little bit lighter than the uh, fake one, so pay uh, close attention to the coloration. And then you'll know which one is the real one and whatnot. And yeah, I think that's the fake one. Where's the real one? Uh, I guess it was that. Maybe that was the real one. Huh, I don't know. <laughs> I must compare them a little closer now. Okay, that's that one. I think that's the fake one. Oh, wait, maybe the real one is the darker one of the two? I, I always remember it being the lighter one of the two. Maybe they reversed it for Master Quest or something like that. I'm almost positive that was the darker one of the two. Uh, okay. Oh, wait, this, is, I think, is the real one? No? Apparently not. Hmm. But as you see, you, you won't get hit at all if you're just standing here. <laughs> so there's, like, no risk to you making mistakes or anything like that. Okay, real one or fake one? Okay, it's this one. No problem. See, I was able to compare them easily now. Oh, here we go, phase two. Okay, now what you want to do is play tennis with his energy balls. Ooh, ah! Oh, I was a little bit too late there. So this is a lot more dangerous than the last phase, basically, because of the fact that you actually have to put yourself in the line of fire. And... Ooh, uh, Oh, that sucked. Oh, come on, I was swinging my sword. What is this blast for me? That should not have happened at all. Come on, come on, do your thing. That's a slow one this time, trying to throw me off, are ya? Trying to throw me off, are ya? It's not gonna happen, it's not gonna happen, Johnson. Ain't gonna happen. <laughs> go, 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 go. Take him down! Take him to the cleaners and make him and <clears throat> charge him for your laundry bill or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> uh, that's pretty much it for this fight, actually. There isn't much more to this. This is how you beat him. No nothing else more to it. So yeah, <laughs> he's he's pretty much dead now. I got a lot of hits in on that last volley. So come on. Come on. Yeah. He, he gets a lot more uh, resilient, basically, to your sword, I mean, your reflections of his blast as you go through the battle. But it's generally the same thing. The pace of those energy blasts get faster and faster as you keep hitting it back and forth. So you have to adjust your timing as such. And that's really all there is to it. Wah! See, I knew he was almost dead. Okay, that's kind of violent. Not kid-friendly in the least. Hey, kid, you did quite well. It looks like you may be gaining some slight skill. But you have defeated only my phantom. When you fight the real me, it won't be so easy. What a worthless creation that ghost was. I will banish it to the gap between dimensions. That doesn't actually make any sense. I mean, he just said that I gained some skill, and then he said that the ghost was worthless. So, by saying that I had skill to defeat the ghost, that only means that the ghost had a decent amount of skill on its own. Unless he means that the ghost wasn't good enough or something like that. Anyway, I'm missing one Skulltula. I don't know exactly where it is, but I'm just gonna leave the dungeon now. And yeah. Woo. Maybe I'll come back here later instead of like going to it right away or something like that. Because I'm almost certain I'm gonna have like a mop-up part of sorts going back to areas anyway. 
and I won't have any trouble getting back to the forest temple. I, I didn't explain this earlier when I got the uh, song in the forest, and yes, Saria is the sage, the sage of the forest. Well, Sage of the Forest Temple. But anyway, if you play that song, you'll be able to warp back over to that Triforce pad in front of the temple's entrance. Uh, if you get... <clears throat> I'll... I don't want to spoil something. I was just going to spoil something, so... I won't do that. Yep, sadly, Saria and I can't be together despite her wanting me with every fiber of her being. <laughs> But that's only because she's the sage, and she's about to give me a coin. Well, it's a medallion. But they always remind me of chocolate coins in a way, because you know how chocolate coins have those multicolored uh, foil wrappers around them? Yeah! <laughs> Woohoo! A successful run through the forest temple. Saria will always be your friend. With benefits. <laughs> oh, it warps me all the way over here? Wow. Hello, little sprout. Mm -hmm. Oh! Oh, isn't it precious? Yeah, this is basically the Deku tree reincarnated, so to speak. Hey, have you seen your old friends? None of them recognized you with your grown-up body, did they? That's because the Kokiri never grow up, even after seven years. They're still kids. You must be wondering why only you have grown up. Well, as you might have already guessed, I should probably stop doing this voice by now. You are not a Kokiri, you are actually a Hylian. I am happy to finally reveal a secret to you. Yeah, it's the Deku Tree, basically. <laughs> so the Deku Tree lives. It lives. Well, sort of. There was, huh? That doesn't sound too good. This forest is forbidden. What? Preposterous. Everyone's so friendly here. <laughs> Guess who that child of destiny was? Yep, it was me. <laughs> well, Link, of course. But it's, you know, me in the story as I'm playing as the character. Quite a sad story. Link lost his mom at a young age, didn't even know about it. But at the same time, it seems that Link lived a pretty good life up until he had to, you know, save the world and stuff like that. <laughs> of course, I have to save the land of Hyrule, of course. I always have to save lands. Ah, oh, it's preposterous. Every time I play a video game, I have to save the world. It's unbelievable. Oh, there are two you two. Mm. Oh, are you going to repeat yourself all... Oh, okay, I was a little bit worried there. Anyway, now I was going to explain this to you. Now, if you take a look at your song list, you'll notice that there's ones in different colors now. I just thought I would point that out. Now, the Minuet the Forest here. I'm going to play that to show you something. La la la, la la la, and you can warp to the Lost Woods. Remember I said that uh, Triforce pad? Just thought I would show you this at least once. Whenever you get a song, you can warp to the place that you got that song from. In this case, it's right here in front of the Forest Temple. Now I'm wondering, should I go back in there and see if I can find that last skull to la I'm thinking I should as long as I'm here. I mean, that way we won't have to go back here and stuff like that. So I'm just going to take a quick roam around the temple and 
see where the poop that Skulltula is. Uh, looking around? Apparently I got them all. <laughs> I forgot to check the map first, but okay. Let's go back to Kokiri Village now. And we're back at Kokiri Forest. I decided to go here at night because there's a thing that I wanted to get here at night. If you guessed that was a Skulltula, you would be right. <laughs> I don't think it's behind here because I got this one before when I was a kid. The Skulltulas... Yeah, this, there isn't one here. I believe it's behind the twins house, but I forgot where they moved off to. Was it this one here? I don't recall. Uh, Sarius house? No. Because I'm almost positive it's behind the twins house. It's probably the one with the two top. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, I needed the hook shot for it. I just remembered it was behind one of these houses. What? You're telling me I missed those first two times? All right, that's it. I am done here. Here's our totals. There we go, 51 skull tools. I'll probably go back over to Kakiriko Village a little bit later to get the next two prizes at the Skulltula house. But as for now, I think I am done with this part. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part, and we continue our grand adventure. Toodaloo!